Turbo Race or Turbo Sports. I tried this twice in a Mitsubishi Legnum. It didn't go well. Twice. Around this specific track actually, which is Fuji. The 80s circuit. One of the reasons is because every single car likes to kill me. Because family estate car with 425 horsepower versus an Impreza Pro Drive. And for some reason, a Buick Grand National and a Lexus SC, which is not turbocharged. Now, let's go on with it. See ya, lads. Corner. Hopefully the upgrade suspension helps me out a little bit. Yes, it does. Yeah, who's laughing now? Isn't this a tad overkill? Yeah, well, I've had enough. Sorry, stop speed runs are fun. 70. 180. I'll be understeer. Yep, yeah, I've understeered wildly. Uh. Bit of a drift on the exit. Imagine F1 going around this circuit today. Well, the 80s version of Fuji. Which it did. Back in the 70s. of the stagia. No! Oh, perfectly held. I actually did use a stager for a rallying event in GT2 by a year ago. I think the Legnum will be the successor to that. Since there were almost no estate cars in GT3. Apart from the Impreza, of course. What's the grass?
minute 21.6 legacy wagon gtb yeah that was in it wasn't it I f wasn't it in the was it in gt3 i can't remember actually look at the delta integrali hey viper how you doing There goes the Evo, being absolutely destroyed by my minds. A group photo, actually. They're all black. I want someone with, I want someone with blue in it. I went to Indiana this, this weekend. Noise. That'll do. All right, seven and a half grand for me. Next. All right. Oh, I pressed preview, didn't I? No, 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 no. Why did I press pre preview? I don't care. I don't know why I pressed preview. That, that was a real bad mistake. Yeah, but Legacy was in it. That, that, hmm, I didn't know that actually. I must have absolutely snubbed it. So, Route 246. Yep, the Buick Grand National was in it. In fact, the Buick Grand National was in this as well. So is a Toyota Supra. Oh, it's reverse. Bye. Skyline 2 OP needs more up. Don't care. Don't care if it's OP or not. I'm using it. This is the greatest car in the world. I tried to use the Legnum earlier. These more underpowered. Dude, I tried to use the Legnum earlier. I was absolutely mullered around Fuji. Well, with the skyline, I'm absolutely fully respected. And thank God there's no penalties. Hundred and seventy miles an hour. Way too early. I doubt the AI will use that. Kind of does horrible. Yeah, well, I had an I had a Pro Drive, I had a Pro Drive Impreza, and an Audi S4, and another Impreza, and a Focus RS, all coming, all coming defeat me. 
twice. Well, apart from the focus, which... What the? Where did I get that launch of speed from? I felt the controller rumble for reasons, and then my car sped up. Ooh, Queens of the Stone Age. This is another song I like. The AI Eclipse. No, the Eclipse was even going to be in this race. Anyway, that's a near four minute race. Beat. A total of seven points. Jubbly. With the view at Grand National coming last. Twenty seven K. Next race. High speed ring. Ooh, this is going to be lovely. Nice bit of a top speed circuit. High speed ring being one of the original tracks. But there's a 3000 GT VR4 turbo. Oh, there is an Eclipse in this. There's a Lexus SC300, which is definitely not turbocharged in any way. I like how the, uh, the Delta just gives the Lexus a, a polite shove out of the way. Of course, this new high-speed ring much tighter than the previous two iterations of it. Iteration 1 being high-speed ring, iteration 2 being high-speed link, for some reason. This version now much, much longer. Remember doing the uh, the max speed events on GT GT one around this in a three thousand GT actually Mitsubishi GTO, which was race modified. It could do and it could do the entire lap in forty nine seconds. Meanwhile, in this uh, mine's GTR with six hundred horsepower, it can do a one minute twenty. Had used a bit too much brake for the second corner. I really do wish that um, that high speed ring was a legit track. It'd be real interesting to see GTEs and GT3s just race across here. You wouldn't need any aer any kinds of aerodynamics because it's a speed circuit. Thanks to the why wide corners the the big long sweepers and big long straights one 
one minute eleven point seven. Across the outside break. Come on, half a track to go. And low coin. Currently watching you on my phone. I don't have a good signal around here. Oh dear. Come on, mines. Around the outside. Like a NASCAR. And there we are. Don't care about the lineup because I just don't. Give me that 7.5. Next, New York with two big long straights. We go. Let's see uh, how fast I will go before I hit the big 270 degree roundabout corner. Rolling start. Past the Audi. Is that a Lotus Cart? No, that's the, that's the bloody... That's the bloody Regal Grand National again, isn't it? By Grand National. Of course, there'll be a bloody pretzel on this. Oh, wheel spin. difficult to get past the Impreza after all. Now, how fast would it keep up? I reckon I can get to the end of the straight at 160 miles an hour. I was right. Oh, God! Talk about instant stop. About to say goodbye to this Impreza now, again. Yeah, don't drift, for God's sake. Especially into the corner of a bleeding roundabout. Now, now to leave the Impreza for dead. But what the hell I got hit by, but okay. Come 
Come on. Uh. There. Right, next straight. Here we go. See how much faster I can go. Break. Oh god, the brake mark is so wrong. It's like drift. Come on. One minute thirty eight point four. Broke a bit too early there. Easy. Through the, uh, whatever the hell you call this chicane. Drift! Ran out of revs. Drift. Turn in. Yeah, don't do that. One minute. Oh god. Completely forgot to change gear there. Wow, who would have known that going just a tad slow on the straight will make will mean you go faster in the corners. One minute thirty nine point one zero seven. And there we are. That's New York. Seven point five K. Nice. Now for the last race, which is where is it again? That midfield, isn't it? Yep, three laps of midfield, and then that's turbo race for turbo sports complete. Although I wish I, I wish I could have done it earlier because, boy, was the leg them abused. Oh, look at that! There's a full focus. I'm gonna watch it understeer into the first corner. As you can see, Impreza nearly murdered the uh, focus. Now let's see if we can murder this Delta. Bye, Delta. Of course, this version of midfield no longer flat. Slight ascent after the first two corners which is now actually two corners instead of one big long sweeper I think it was a variable sweeper bigger sweepers this sweeper into the grass get off get off get off Uh. 
That was uh, well, well controlled. Akira Team Penske got the 2019 IMSA DPI Drivers of the Team Championship. Yep, that's correct. Also, that, uh, that Petit Le Mans will be the last time we'll ever see the Corvette C7. It will be gone. No, for God's sake. Clean snaking about. It's gonna move on for Christ's sake. Okay, good turning, good turning, good turning. Nice. That was a little better. At least I didn't hit the gravel. Turn it in. Last corner. More. Oh, no, not the pit. That was close. Let's not try that again. Let's actually focus on doing a good lap now. Easy on the throttle. Big burst of speed on the exit, that's good. Down the second. That bit used to be grass in GT2, I think. Win! AI getting... Yeah, I was very confused by a wall. Anyway, that's seven and a half K. We've at least made some of our money back. The uh, pointless tires that I bought for the Legnum. Come on, show me my car. Here we go. Nothing good. Ooh, it's a D1 Drifters Falcon RX-7 from 2003. So that's two drift cars I've got now. Say, say.